All right, let's talk about fresh greens. Uh, we certainly know that, you know, when these animals are in the wild, they were feeding on a huge diversity of different plant material. And so we want to think about that and try to offer as much of a diversity in captivity as we can. Greens provide not only a great additional taste, texture, the animals really enjoy eating them, but they also provide hydration, which is an extremely important component uh, of these animals' health and well-being. Many, many good types of dark leafy greens are out there. A great place to start for everybody is to go to the House Rabbit Society's website, which is rabbit.org, where they have an entire list of appropriate fresh greens. Greens that I really like and good basic ones to start with would be things like red leaf lettuce, green leaf lettuce, um, bib lettuce, carrot tops, dandelion greens, mustard greens. Um, and again, a diversity is good, but with an animal who's not had a lot of greens, we want to start basic. We want to start with one to two species, maybe a leaf or two, making sure that their GI tract is kind of getting used to that change. And then over time, we can gradually increase the diversity in the types of greens that we're feeding, even to the point where it can make up 10, 15, and even 20% of their overall diet. Nice thing as well is many of these greens can be found at your local superstore. Um, I always do prefer organic greens if you can afford those and they're available. Not a requirement, but if that is an option, it's always a route that I prefer to go. But this is an extremely important and beneficial and, and honestly enjoyable part of a rabbit's diet. Most important take home is fresh greens are up here. Fresh vegetables down here, fresh fruit at the bottom of the barrel. We really want to focus on fresh greens making up the majority, uh, majority of that fresh diet intake. Thank you.